What up and welcome to the channel. Appreciate y'all stopping by. I know it's been a minute since I uploaded a video, but we back. And in today's video, I got this secret box right here. Not just any secret box, but a box containing Nikes. Yep, that's right. I got commissioned to customize a pair of fresh Nikes. And uh, I'm gonna let y'all guess what I'm gonna paint on it. Oh, time's up, you freaking suck, you didn't guess it. But I'm gonna be painting. Ed, Ed, and Ed. Super excited to do this because one of my most popular videos on this channel was when I actually customized some jeans that had Ed and Eddie. And I'm really excited to see how these are going to turn out. So without further ado, let's check out the stuff we need and get started on these bad boys right away. Alrighty, you son of a shepherds. Let's see the supplies you'll need. First off, we're going to need something to clean off the shoes. Then we're going to need some textile medium to mix with the acrylic paints. Gonna need some paint brushes of various sizes and tips to color in and do the line work on these shoes. And of course, acrylic paints of different colors to color in these bad boys. And the next up, we're gonna take all these shoelaces. Don't need those, they're just gonna be in the way, so we get them out of here. All right, once you get those off, you wanna clean off the shoes, and then once they're cleaned up, you wanna put some tape over the areas you don't want the paint on, and these are ready to go. And I knew I wanted characters on the outsides of the shoes, so I decided to go with the Kanker Sisters. And of course, the Eighth Boys on the other one. I drew these out on a piece of paper first, and then kind of like used them as a way to kind of get an idea beforehand of how to lay out the characters so they fit nicely on the sides. And yep, after you let that dry for a day, you want to get your textile medium and your acrylic paints, and you are ready to paint. But of course, to prevent any future peeling or cracking or losing of the design on the shoes, you want to mix up two parts of that textile medium with one part of the paint, mix it up real, real good, and then you'll be ready to paint. Now, the reason we want to add this textile medium is it helps the paint be more flexible so that the design doesn't crack or peel in the future. And honestly, just like right here with this yellow, I kind of just eyeball it, just make sure you mix it good and keep that acrylic paint consistency. You don't want it to be too watery, but yeah, we do this to prevent any damage on the design in the future and so it can hold up longer than the shoes themselves and you should be all good. All right, I'm really right now I'm just kind of going back and forth between coloring the characters on each shoe, mixing the colors with the acrylic paint, making sure that's all done. And then on the inside of the shoes, I actually didn't want to leave that blank. So I decided to go with the color scheme that kind of reminds me of the intro with like the white and pink background. Instead, I decided to do a pink and purple. It kind of looks like the bathing ape camo. But either way, I just wanted to do something cool on the inside and make it, you know, not so bland. And I always think the designs on the swoosh looks pretty cool. So I figured I would do that. And I think it looks pretty sick. Sick. And you know I had to do something on the back of the shoes too, so I did some two little designs on the back. See if you could guess what they are before you get to the end of this video. If you if you watch the show, you probably could tell what they are right off the bat. But right now, right now, we're gonna check these out because all the coloring is done. Look at these bad boys. Ooh, looking fresh as hell already. But up next is time for my favorite part of painting actually, and that's blind work time. All right, got this big old Mars ivory black paint. Gonna open that sucker up, take a little bit out. And as you can see of my palette plate, I have a ton of colors already mixed up and there was like no room. So I just, whatever little space I had left, mixed it up as well with the medium. And look at that, just mix it up real, real good. Mix, 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 mix. And then get your smaller tip brush to go in with the line work. You just wanna take your time with this. Don't wanna rush this. Cause with shoes i feel like the pressure is on because the room for error is so much smaller or bigger i mean than when you cover a, a canvas because you could just go back and erase a canvas but not these shoes man i ain't trying to mess these up but yeah i just went in with the with the brush and just did all the line work necessary on um, both shoes and we're, these shoes are pretty much gonna be done and like I said, these were commissioned by an old co-worker of mine. He wanted to do a commission as a Christmas gift for his son. That's freaking awesome. So thanks, man, once again, for commissioning me to do shoes. Because I absolutely love painting on shoes. It's just one of those things where the results always just look so fire. Just combining f apparel with, with art is just freaking awesome. And I just love it. And I'm so happy I got to do this. And he got back to me and told me that he absolutely loved the shoes. 
so i'm even happier to hear that and yeah that just, i just don't have enough shoes to customize because i already have my own pair of shoes that are like old and i just have too many to keep adding to the collection maybe i'll customize my crusty ass shoes i don't know let me know if y'all want to see some more shoe customizations in the future but yeah, these came out freaking awesome. I kind of wish I had my own pair of Ed, Ed and Eddie custom Nikes. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll, I'll customize my own. I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see. And of course, I wanted to take one last step to make sure that these hold up. I went and got some Angelus number 600 acrylic finisher. Now, Angelus just has a good rep for being the best at paints and finishers and all that. Sealers and stuff for leather. So since I didn't have the paint and I didn't want to get more paint, I just went with the finisher and applied like three layers on each design on the each shoe, maybe waited like 20 minutes in between each coat, applied like three coats of it on each and these should hold up very well in the future as they get worn and used. So yeah, appreciate y'all for stopping by. Let me know in the comments section below what sh which shoe y'all like better. If y'all, what y'all rate these shoes out of 10, appreciate it. I appreciate you if you made it this far in this video, shit. If you did make it this far in this video, comment your favorite cartoon character from Meta and Nettie. Appreciate y'all. Let me know future video ideas. Drop a like, comment, all that good stuff. Subscribe for more videos. I'm going to back, get back on that YouTube grind. But appreciate it. Until next time, y'all. Keep creating. Keep it trill. Peace and love. And I'm out. I suck at whistling.